Scott Atwood again. I am in eastern Oklahoma, headed to Nashville, Tennessee to deliver a load. And I just wanted to take a moment. Today is May the 12th, 2019, and it is Mother's Day. And I just wanted to take a moment to talk about a couple of my heroes. And one of them is my very own mother. My mom sacrificed and worked her entire life for me and my brothers and sisters. She had four children, two of which have passed on. Uh, two of my sisters are dead, and to this day, uh, my my mother still helps with her little pension check to support her grandchildren and her great-grandchildren. She sends them money to this day. And uh, I remember when I was a kid, I was an athlete, and I played football, and I wrestled. And uh, I could, above all the crowd, I could hear my mother cheering me on. And uh, some of them were pretty big stadiums, and I could still hear my mother <laughs> screaming, Get them, Scott! Get them, Scott! <laughs> but, uh, so my mother uh, is one of my heroes. She's prayed for me and stuck by me through thick and thin. Another one of my heroes is my sister, Patty. She died last year, and she had brain cancer, and uh, we found out about it, and it wasn't eight months later, she was dead, so it was pretty aggressive, and uh, I spoke to her literally as she was dying. And her last request was not for me or for herself. The last thing she said to me was, <clears throat> I'm sorry this is rich with human emotion. Take care of my kids was her last word. And the third hero that I have is my own daughter, who started uh, working at the age of 14. <laughs> I remember we had to carry her back and forth to work. And she'd work three, four hours maybe. But that kid's worked every, she's held a job since she was 14 years old and she had uh, her first son at a very young age out of wedlock of course but uh, I've seen her sacrifice so much for her kids she has three they all live with us she lives with us she helps though she works and she helps pay the bills praise God <laughs> but she's worked her entire life and I've seen her go without shoes, wear their shoes with holes in her feet. And uh, another one of my heroes is my wife, who raised all our kids and now is raising six of our grandkids. And I mean, she is involved. They're all in sports or they play volleyball, softball, dance class. And uh, every day, just about, she has to take one of them somewhere to do something, some activity that they're interested in, and she does it without complaint. So this is just a, kind of a message for the mothers today. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there that will hear this. And uh, in Proverbs 31, it describes the perfect woman. You might want to read that. Um, 
there's a lot of you out here that might hear this that uh, are mothers that are single mothers that are struggling you're working two jobs maybe you're working one job uh, all the time and you don't have your time for your kids but let me tell you it'll all pay off in the end you teach them to pray you teach them to read that book there's a lot of stories about men who fell on the battlefield you don't hear of any of them crying for their father but there are so many that died on the battlefield and their last words were mama mama so I just wanted to take a minute and thank God for all you uh, mothers out here and uh, may the Lord bless you and I hope you have a wonderful day and it's Sunday so go to church read your Bible God bless you